Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another live broadcast. I am Astrid and uh, this is uh, Flows for Life and I'm coming to you from uh, Wiltshire in England and um, it's five o'clock here in the UK and I thought uh, this would be another great time to do some self-help. So uh, if you're tuning in or if you're around um, we hope, uh, I hope that uh, you will join us or join me or join everyone. So last time we talked about uh, the thumb and how the thumb can help all sorts of issues. And today I wanted to focus or start our self-help talking about the index finger. And the index finger is a really nice finger to hold when I am feeling a bit nervous or when I have to go up on stage to give a presentation or when, as I say, I feel a bit nervous, when I feel a bit anxious, when I feel slightly unsettled, uh, when there is a bit of lack, so I'm feeling that there is something missing or that um, I don't have something that I want or, you know, it's, it's just a really nice way to settle down the whole system. And the index finger is, um, is also connected to the energy function of the kidney and bladder. So the function is uh, water. And I had a very interesting experience when I lived in London, uh, this one I tell in my self-help classes, uh, that basically I was sitting on the tube and, um, uh, and I had a full bladder but I couldn't go anywhere so I had to kind of sit there and wait for the train to get going. So uh, at the same time at that point I was wearing contact lenses and my eyes were very dry so I had two situations where I had not enough water in the eyes and too much water in the bladder. So I thought okay okay so how can I balance the water, I have two very different situations here, uh, too much and too little, and how can I balance both of those? So I thought, okay, let's, uh, let's do some self-help. Uh, I'm going to hold the index finger and blow me away. Within a few seconds, my bladder started feeling more comfortable and my eyes started feeling more comfortable. So um, when you want to balance the water in the body, whether it's too much or too little, hold your index finger and that was that was a really nice way to uh, to experience these two extremes at the same time very powerful and uh, very very uh, simple uh, so um, so that was that was a really good that was a really good experience for me uh, and one that I share in the um, in the self-help classes as well so from from the last uh, broadcast uh, there were quite a lot of questions so thank you for asking your questions and if you want to ask a question please feel free um, and I'll try and answer those but um, there was there was an interesting question uh, that someone asked and that was why do I feel sleepy uh, or, or do I fall asleep when I do self-help and um, you might have noticed that if you if you practice self-help with the with the fingers uh, so holding your thumb holding your index finger middle finger ring finger and little finger uh, which is a complete uh, a complete exercise uh, complete treatment really uh, then there might be one or two fingers or one finger might feel really nice like really nice uh, and when I mean when I say really nice, I mean you feel just so relaxed and like you could fall asleep and you just feel really sleepy and just really nice. So when that happens, it means that the body is really needing to reharmonize, regenerate and work with those energies that relate to that finger or to that self particular self-help. So whether you're doing main central or whether you're doing whatever you're doing. Um, and so if you feel really relaxed, really sleepy, really nice and comfortable uh, when you're doing self-help, uh, then continue doing it because your body is just going through that, that relaxation 
which as I explained to my clients is the side effect of everything that is happening in the body. So when you kind of make this connection, when you hold the fingers, when you do your self-help, when you hold your safety energy locks, your energy sites in particular sequences as we do, and you just feel this incredible sense of relaxation and well-being and nearly like floatiness a lot of my clients feel then um then it's it's because things are starting to regenerate they're starting to correct themselves they're starting to uh, repair themselves things are moving etc etc so the side effect of all of that happening of things moving and everything happening is relaxation isn't that nice so so i hope that answers your question uh, but that is why uh, that is why you get that feeling and it's such a nice side effect of the treatment really. Um, so there was another question uh, that related to the migraine hold that I, show, that I showed. For headaches and migraines we talked about uh, placing the fingers at the base of the thumb and that not only clears a headache but it really clears the head so even if you don't have a headache if you just feel a little bit fuzzy or if you just feel a bit bleh, uh, in the head then it just clears uh, and it does help the brain function so that is um, that's um, that's a very very useful um, uh, energy site number 18 for the head okay so I use it a lot let's say when I just feel a little bit fuzzy or fuzzy headed or you know uh, haven't got enough sleep and it just clears my head as well but in terms of the nervous system uh, the nervous system is another safety energy lock another energy site that is really very helpful or is particularly helpful for the nervous system so on my website you'll find a post that is related to this um, to help uh, ease panic attacks and anxiety and that energy site is number 17 and is found on the outside of the wrist so a lot of people you'll see a lot of people naturally placing their hand over their wrist and just sitting there and what they're doing is they're regenerating their energies in the moment so it's called the regenerator uh, but it's regenerating um, that energy uh, for you so instead of when you have a dip in the afternoon instead of reaching for a Mars bar you hold uh, this energy site and it'll regenerate you but it'll also really calm any sort of panic attack or any anxiety I've tried and tested I can tell you it works it works within seconds uh, and it's interesting because you see a lot of a lot of states people um, before they go up on stage they will be standing there holding uh, holding their their wrist like this and what they're doing is they're just calming their nerves before they go up on stage to speak um, I know that I've watched uh, for instance Angela Merkel I don't know whether she knows what she's doing but I've watched her several times before she goes up on stage she's you know a lot of statesmen they also stand there holding their index finger and their middle finger so that is calming their nerves as well and um, then they come up on stage they're harmonized and they're they're calm grounded come across you know confident and with authority and I've always noticed that about Angela Merkel uh, and other and other people who stand behind the scenes waiting to come up on on the podium so um, so yes now let's see do we have any um, um, it can also bring up discomfort and anxiety at times um, when you do self-help it can bring up it can bring up things um, it can be quite powerful yes I agree if things have been uh, have been uh, numbed and and you haven't and things haven't been let out then when you start the cleaning process a bit of a bit of dust will be will be um, coming out uh, when you clean the house it's quite dusty then there will be dust that flies around and I think that's the same thing that happens to us when we 
uh, when we do our self-help and uh, when we have a treatment, a Jinshinyutsu treatment, and um, things will be stirred up to be cleaned out. Uh, that can happen on a mental and emotional level and, and yes, it can be a little bit uncomfortable at times. Uh, and I do agree that, that you know, it can be, it can be uncomfortable. And that, that can happen, yes. So, um, so the index finger, the index finger is just a really, really nice finger uh, to hold for self-help. And, um, and many people, many people have said that it, it has really helped them. And anyway, no one's going to know what you're doing. We all know. Uh, we know what you're doing. We know what we're doing. But a lot of people don't know what we're doing. <laughs> so, um, so, um, and remember that uh, Jura, Jura Murai, Master Jura Murai's research revealed that uh, each finger uh, affects 14,400 energy functions in the body. So uh, holding the fingers really is good for the brain. A lot of these energy functions are connected to the brain, of course. So it really does help clear the head, uh, clean the head, clean the brain to hold each finger. And I find that just holding the fingers of one hand, by the time I've finished holding five fingers, I feel totally regenerated but you if you want to go further hold all 10 for a few minutes I remember that it does work if you fall asleep so while you sleep you're holding a finger or you're in a self-help position it continues working that's the beauty of, of this and when you've had enough you will just um, your your hands will just fall away which is which is uh, the natural thing to happen Okay, so um, so yes, and um, uh, right, have we got any questions? No questions yet. So um, if you have a question, just uh, send me send me that. Um, we were talking last time about uh, Master Jira Murai and how he discovered or rediscovered the keys of uh, Jinshinyitsu, what, what he called Jinshinyitsu, the keys being the 26 energy sites. And uh, he researched how the energy pathways uh, traveled through the body and how they were in health and in sickness. And um, he studied many, many, well, he, st he studied for many, many years before he actually, uh, before he actually, um, started practicing just like uh, just like Mary and Mary Burmeister um, was his one of his uh, uh, most dedicated students and uh, for all of us uh, practitioners or those who of us who have been on self-help classes and the five-day classes um, she was the one who brought Jinshin Yitsu to the West. So um, it was, uh, it was, she started her practice in the, in the 1960s and uh, she was in, um, in Arizona, um, in the States. So from there, the, the world of Jinshin Yitsu has expanded and now there are thousands of practitioners and students and interested people around the world. So, um, um, someone's asking about preventing ear pain during flying in an airplane. Um, the ears are, for flying, uh, the fingers are very, very useful for jet lag, for any, um, for any, for dry eyes, for pain in the ears. Uh, and so when you're taking off or landing, uh, to regulate the pressure in the ears, what I tend to do is I tend to hold the little finger, okay? So little finger tends to help me with, um, with ear um, issues when I'm flying. And, um, and also index finger, index finger, little finger, index finger, little finger for, for when I'm flying, for the ears. Um, so... Yeah. Okay. So I've answered. I've answered the one about um, about ears and about ear pain when flying. 
There was also a question about um, air sickness, and um, I think uh, I think with air sickness, uh, again, the fingers are just really really helpful um, to to regulate. And also, I would say um, to do uh, the upper arm. So right hand goes or left hand goes on the right upper arm and the left hand goes on the left the right hand goes on the left upper thigh so you're you're kind of crossing over um, left hand on right upper arm and right hand on left upper thigh I think that would help the breathing the digestive system clearing the back so a lot of a lot of breathing um, uh, clearing the the chest okay so um, let's do some self-help, shall we? How about, um, oh, I see some friends here from Singapore. Hello, Nicholas, and hello, Malti. Nice to see you on here. Um, do you have any questions or comments or anything, uh, any ideas on, uh, some, on things to discuss? That would be good. It's always nice to see you around. Yes, hello, Nicholas. <laughs> so, um, so yes, so uh, we're discussing uh, today. The focus uh, of my discussion is the index finger, and um, so many experiences with uh, with the index finger, and indeed with uh, with all the individual fingers. Um, but I was I was thinking about how. Um, how babies and children know this innately you know they don't have to be told that uh, how to regenerate themselves they will they will use that innate wisdom that we all have and that we have forgotten or that we practice but without consciously knowing what we're doing and the, ch the kids the babies will take their thumb put it to their mouth or will take their index finger or their middle finger whichever finger they need they will their body will say I need some regeneration here and they will put their whichever finger um, relevant finger into their mouth and suck and and that's the way that they regenerate whatever needs to be regenerated so it's uh, it's it's really lovely to see see children and babies um, doing that. But of course, as I said in my previous um, video, um, when we become older, it's not very socially acceptable to to do that. So um, so it's much more socially acceptable to just hold the fingers and um, and regenerate that way rather than sucking them. <laughs> So, um, the index finger, uh, very important, and um, as I said before, 14,400 functions uh, affect, are affected by each finger, and Jira Murai studied these 14,400 functions um, in the, from each finger, and of course we have the main ones, but, but can you imagine that just by holding each finger, you are affecting 14,400 energy functions in the body. It's, it's just mind boggling how simple, how something so simple can have such a, such an incredible, incredible effect. Um, and that's why, that's why everyone needs to know that, um, that holding the fingers and the thumbs can have such a positive effect on their, on their health and well being and, uh, their state of mind and their emotions um, because the emotion that uh, the emotion that the index finger um, harmonizes is fear is fear and anxiety and um, there's a great story about um, about fear that I tell in my self-help classes and uh, what Mary said was that fear is false evidence appearing real so fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. And um, the story that I tell is, um, is that you're, you're walking down this dark alley, alleyway and you're really scared. You're full of fear. But going back, 
makes you even more afraid so you keep going and then you come you come to this shadow this monster shadow on the wall ahead of you and you're just petrified but you keep going and then as you get closer you see that this monstrous shadow is just the shadow uh, that is distorted on the wall and is being cast upon the wall by this little sweet puppy and so it turns out that there was nothing to fear so false evidence appearing real uh, I always like to tell that story because it just illustrates how beautiful it, it beautifully illustrates how our fears can get the, the worst of us and um, and you know like Mark Twain said I've I've had many troubles in my life uh, and some of them actually happened. <laughs> it's the same with our fears. Um, I've had many fears in my life and very few of them actually happen. So um, the index finger, holding the index finger just really helps us, um, helps us uh, calm down and, um, and move through our fears. And that's actually a very important issue because um, the important thing to remember is uh, I remember in one in one of the classes someone said so we're never supposed to we're never supposed to feel any of these emotions we are aspiring to never feel any of these emotions of worry fear anger grief or efforting or trying to and it's not that way at all. We, we are human and therefore uh, our makeup is to experience worry and fear and anger and grief and trying to's. But the issue comes when we actually get stuck in those. So what is really, really lovely is that we can, when we experience fear or anger or worry, we can move through them, we can harmonize them. And as we become more familiar with our emotions and with our attitudes of worry, fear, anger, grief, and anxiety, and, and trying to's, we can learn, we can learn to um, become aware of when we are feeling that way. Ah, I am feeling worry now. I am more aware. So I am going to hold my thumb and I am going to harmonize my worry. Ah, I am feeling fear. I am feeling anxiety. I know how that feels now. I know how that feels in uh, when I'm in disharmony. So I'm going to harmonize that. I'm going to harmonize that fear. I'm going to harmonize that anxiety. And so the effect of holding your fingers is cumulative. So the more you hold them, the quicker these um, you move through these attitudes uh, and harmonize them. It's very clever. We're very clever, aren't we? Uh, we're just very clever and intelligent, and we need to uh, we need to um, remember how how clever and intelligent we are. Uh, so that's where that's where I come in, and that's where you know people who are aware of uh, of Jinchenitsu as a tool for health and well being um, come in as well. So Marty, what? Yes, okay. Um, have I got a suggestion in case of an emergency when a panic attack happens or stage fright three minutes before having to give a speech in front of a crowd? Yep, yep, um, yep. I think literally, literally the, uh, the hold for panic attacks is literally um, wrap your hand around the wrist and place you are the fingers at the base of that same hand okay so I can't think of anything quicker to relieve that um, that anxiety I just can't uh, for me it has worked within seconds so I hope it works for you uh, within seconds as well and um, and actually actually if um, Anyone who does speak uh, regularly and who sort of feels that they're going to, they might have a, a panic attack just before they go on stage. I always find 
um, in that case, if you know that that's going to happen, give yourself a bit of time before the speech or before you go on stage and um, hold the inside of the heel and the outside of the heel. Uh, it's the anti-pain hold, but I use it for so many different um, issues because I use it as, as an anesthetic, I use it as um, just to just for the deep energy in the body. So it what it does, it immediately calms um, the whole body because it's it, it goes right to the deep energy in the body and it goes throughout the whole body. So uh, if you if you have a bit of time, then you place your right hand on the inside of the heel and your left hand on the outside of the heel on the foot. Okay, and always remember that whichever heel you are using, whichever side of the of your body you're using, it's always the right hand on the inside of the heel, under the ankle, and the left and the left hand is on the outside of the uh, the heel, under the ankle. Okay, so I think that that might uh, that might help you. Someone's saying, does the index also help relieve stress induced muscle tension? Thank you for reminding me. Um, the index finger is is really good uh, because um, it's really good for uh, muscles. Okay, so if you have very tense muscles, then you can hold the index finger. And actually, if you um, if you know anyone who suffers from back pain, then uh, holding the index finger at the beginning when when the the uh, back starts hurting. It will, it will start relieving a sore back immediately. It just starts relieving um, sore backs. So also really, really, really helpful for um, muscle, for muscle tension, okay? The other way to relieve, um, the, the way that I found it really easy to relieve a sore back is to cross your arms and place your hands on your upper arms. Um, it really helps deepen the breathing, uh, it clears any emotional upset, it clears the chest, uh, the bust line, it clears the waistline, and it just relieves tension down the back. Um, again, when I lived in London and I was standing on a, a platform uh, waiting for a train, I used to do a lot of self-help on the tube and waiting for trains and things, but um, it was nearly like I could feel tension building up in my back and my shoulders and I thought okay I'm just gonna hold calmly hold my upper arms and it was nearly like a fizzling of through throughout my back just the release of tension it was wonderful and uh, even now I can just feel it it's just it's just really great so for muscles um, you can in the back especially you can use that for tension and also for muscles the the self-help that I always give for muscles is the backs of the knees so just place your fingers at the backs of the knees okay so we're nearly coming to about 30 minutes so um, just uh, a little bit more and then I will say goodbye and uh, uh, I will probably do the next uh, broadcast uh, next Saturday at five o'clock my time, uh, England time, so wherever you are, it would be great if you could join us, join me actually, and join everyone. Um, but um, we'll then uh, we'll then look at the middle finger because the middle finger is one of my favorites. <laughs> well, they're all they're all my favorites. I don't have any one favorite, but it's one that I use a lot. Um, but Looking at the thumb and the index finger, we are um, we are really really harmonizing um, a lot. Uh, Fourteen thousand four hundred functions per finger, and uh, I don't think it gets any better than that. Remember, the effect is cumulative, so a little bit every day goes a long way. And uh, just make it uh, just make it part of your. Um, of your daily life, uh, wherever you are, we don't realize how how much during the day we don't do anything with our hands. Um, when I make people aware of how many in how many situations we could be doing something with our hands when we don't do anything, 
uh, we could be regenerating watching television, we could be regenerating while we're waiting, um, you know, for an appointment, waiting to see someone, uh, waiting for a bus, uh, as a passenger in a car, um, you name it. It's, uh, it's incredible uh, how, how much we could incorporate simple self-help a little, a little bit, um, a few moments regularly, uh, often during the day and um, make such a difference to how we feel and how we, um, how we go about our day to day. So very powerful stuff, very gentle uh, and uh, uh, very interesting to observe people, celebrities on uh, talk shows, uh, holding their fingers, being in a self-help position. Uh, they don't know what they're doing, at least I don't think they know what they're doing, maybe they do, but uh, observing, observing people, observing people who know nothing about Jinshinitsu, just doing uh, what is innately their wisdom and we used to do it we used to do it and babies do it and everyone does it everyone does it but when we do it with awareness uh, when we know what we're doing we can do more of it and get better results and get more continuous results and then really know really know that hey I had that headache and now a few minutes later I don't and I didn't do anything else except my self-help or um, become more aware of whether I'm dehydrated or whatever it is. So, so thank you for joining me and uh, I hope to see you next week Saturday. I will create an event and I will post it before the event so that uh, more people can, uh, uh, can join. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, um, make sure you have them ready and I will ask them and next week we'll look more in depth at the middle finger. So thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!